G'day, I'm Steve from Melbourne, Australia, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Morning, good world. From Wawa, Ontario. W A W A. Wawa, Ontario. I don't know. I didn't name it. We're just getting our day going here. We're going to be in Toronto late tonight. So I don't know where we're going to park. I might stay up uh, north of Toronto, but then I got to go through Toronto during traffic tomorrow. So that's not a good idea. What are you doing, buddy? Do you not see me driving? Right? Okay. Okay, you're going to the... Okay. That's cool. Whatever. Whatever. I got you. I was in the driveway, but I got you. We were both sort of in the driveway. I don't know. Okay, so uh, like I said, we're going to go through Toronto late tonight and try and find some parking near Fergus, Ontario, where I have to unload my first drop tomorrow. Uh, after midnight tonight, so wish me luck. It's not going to be fun. Come on, truck, decide what gear you want. Come on. Dumb automatic. Come on. Let's go. So I bought this truck because it was at the right place at the right time and at the right price and from the right place. And everything sort of just lined up for me to buy this truck, right? 200 meters. Turn left on. Oh, sorry. Yes. This is Karen. This is Karen. She's my uh, navigator. She likes to interrupt me a lot and be the center of attention. Talks a lot, very bossy. Don't mind her, just ignore her. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get comments now. You telling everyone to ignore a woman? Yep. So, uh, what was I saying now? What was I saying? I mean, Toronto tonight. I forgot what I was saying. But uh, it's going to be a good day either way. I can feel it. I had a really good sleep. I don't have a stop sign. I don't know what you're waiting for, buddy. Which way do you want to go? Are you going straight? Yeah. I guess I didn't have a stop sign either. What a weird intersection. Why didn't I have a stop sign? I should have a stop sign. I stopped anyway. Turn right. Absolutely, Karen. What a great idea. Gotta deliver our freight. So we got one delivery tomorrow in uh, uh, Fergus, Ontario, and then we got a second delivery in Brampton, Ontario. Yay. Continue on this road for 220 kilometers. Yeah, sure, why not? We're gonna stop in Sault Ste. Marie for fuel and possibly a shower. Probably a shower. Yeah, we'll have a shower. Wow. Wow. That was not very smart. Speeding as well. I was doing the speed limit there. It blew past me on a double line right before a hill. It could have been oncoming traffic.
clouds don't look good. Yikes. Pointed south right now, so uh, as we turn to the left, we'll be pointed more east. Let's see what the clouds look like this way. Oh, it's the same thing. Oh, joy. Looks like we're going to be running into some weather today. Oh, it's getting worse. Oh, no. No, no. It's mostly to the south, over the lake. Okay. Guess we'll see what happens. Sault Ste. Marie. On the Canadian side. It's also called Sault Ste. Marie across the river on the American side. I believe that's in northern Michigan. Correct me if I'm wrong. I can't see the map right now. So we're just on the Canadian side. We're going to pull in at the Flying J here, grab some fuel, some DEF, and a shower, and then continue down the road. No walks for us today. I was going to walk around Sault Ste. Marie if I had time today, but we're running a little bit of a tight schedule tonight. I'm already going to get to, uh, to the Toronto area around midnight, so I don't want to get there too much later than that because I have to unload this freight before noon tomorrow. And I do have to stop for eight hours before I can legally do anything. So if I get there at midnight, I can only start unloading at like 8, 8.30 in the morning. So no walk today. Good thing we went for a good long walk yesterday. And we'll, we'll go for another one in Brampton tomorrow. We'll take diesel for a walk around Brampton. That's always fun. People always, uh, you, don't, you don't see a lot of dogs in Brampton. <laughs> so people always give you interesting looks when you walk down the sidewalk with a dog. At least in my experience, that, that's what's happened. Brampton is a different place. All right, so here's Travel Center. What's the fuel at? Dollar thirty-four-nine. What? What in the Allison Chains is going on here? Dollar thirty-five. That's Northern Ontario for you. Whew! Make it hurt, right? And I get it. They want to push us towards cleaner energy, but man, you gotta make it like realistic first. Make an electric truck realistic and affordable. Then start raising the, the gas prices so that people move on to electric, right? First, don't jump the gun. You can't jump the gun. It just makes people like me mad. Because you're you're taxing me and you're 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 raising the prices of gas. And I have no other option. I have, I just have to pay the higher prices. Sure, Tesla's come out with an electric semi, but it's not ready. It's not ready, not even close to ready. So why am I being punished for using a truck that I have no other choice? I have to use a diesel engine. You know what I mean? I could totally understand if, if uh, Teslas were affordable and uh, trendy, fashionable, and everybody was getting them and you could charge them anywhere and it was just as nice as a diesel, if not better and cheaper. Oh, I could totally understand. Yeah, tax diesel like crazy to force us onto something cleaner, right? Nope, that's not the way they want. They want their money. They want their money now. This yard is very bumpy, very bumpy. They want their money. Oh, look at this beautiful W9 studio sleeper. When I say my next truck is gonna be a W9 studio sleeper, look at this cattle hauler right here. Look at this truck right here. That is the truck. I want a different color than that, but that's what it's gonna look like. Mm-hmm. That is beautiful. That's a studio sleeper. I think I'm in love. Well, I went into shower and I came out to this. This is not what I was hoping for. Oh, we still got a long way to go and we're gonna be going through a snowstorm. Fantastic. Just what we were hoping for, right, Diesel? We were just talking, we're like, you know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't driven through a snowstorm in a while. It's about time. I'm also six years old. I bought myself cotton candy. All right, so we're gonna look at our weather map for today and see where the snow is. Ah, you see, we should have taken... Okay, we're over... Uh, one second here. We're like right in here. See, there's Sault Ste. Marie. Sault Ste. Marie. So we're just on the north edge of the snow. We should have taken, taken the 11, because up here is the 11, right? Hearst, Timmins, 
down to there, we would have missed most of the snow. But now we're going to be in the snow all the way down into Toronto. It's even snowing in Toronto. Oh, lovely. Snow for the rest of the day. Another 744 kilometers. Okay, so we might not make it all the way there tonight. Yeah, it's just around the Great Lakes. Fantastico. Well, it's not going to stop snowing by just sitting around here. Let's turn our lights on. Let's release the brakes. We're Canadians. A little snow won't stop us. Hope they don't close the roads. Let's get going. Gonna be fun. This is not going to be fun. Why is this guy right in the middle of the driveway? That's a great spot to park. That's where I would have parked too. I think he thought he was waiting for me, but that was unnecessary. That's okay. Nice guy anyway, right? Just trying to be nice. Okay, who's excited? Who's excited? Diesel, are you excited? I'm not excited, man. I'm not really excited either. We haven't driven through a lot of snowstorms this year yet. So, uh, this is uh, Eastern Canada's welcome, welcome party for me, right? You guys planned this, didn't you? You heard, always oh, coming to the east, quick, trigger the snow. Come on, little car, go in front of me. Go in front of me, I'm waiting for you. There you go. You drive a Chevy, so you can go first. Bring it on. It's not that bad here yet. Are you sure you wanna be in that lane, bud? Because I left you plenty of room to get into this lane, because we need to turn left here. Increase Most of us do. Turn left on, second line east. I didn't realize 17. it. Last second. All right, Highway 17 East. I think that driver wanted to come down here, but he uh, missed his turn. You're not supposed to go straight, I don't think, bud. That's a no truck route. All right, he's going for it. I saw him at Flying J. He, uh, drivers were getting mad at him because he was parked in front of the pumps for apparently 45 minutes. With a very thick, very thick Russian accent. <laughs> That's all I know. He was in the store talking and visiting with people until someone came in and started yelling, whose truck is this? Yeah, he's over there. He's making the train. He realized that he's on a no truck route and now he's going to try to turn around corn. He's gonna try to, oh, no, no, it's not a no trucker. That guy's going left. Never mind. Never mind. But he still did park in front of the pumps for 45 minutes. I don't know what he's doing over there. That's okay. Not that he parked in front of the pumps. That's never okay. Don't block the pumps. There's a guy in front of me too when I was trying to fuel up. He was parked in front of the pumps for over half an hour too. Like, come on, people. There's tons of parking spots. But it's snowing out. I don't want to have to walk across the parking lot to get my coffee and take my shower and have lunch and visit with my 50 friends that we all just got together for a little get together. You know what I mean? They meet, meet someone in the truck stop. They lose track of time. That's okay. No, it's not. I don't know why I keep saying it's okay. Let's go. Got a coffee anyways, and I got out of there. They didn't really hold me up that much. They were just holding up other drivers. And it just bothers me when I see other drivers being held up by people like that. It's just, why? I went and parked in a parking spot before I went in and had a shower. You saw it. You saw it. I don't know why that's such a difficult concept to understand, but I see that almost every day on both sides of the Canadian and US border. Almost every day. Common sense is really not that common. Kilometers. Slide right on. Black Road. Highway 17. What? No, we're not going to go there, Karen. Can't go that way. Can we? Oh, yeah, we do got to go that way. Oh, you know what you're talking about. Good for you. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? You guys who drive on the roads regularly. You know those guys. You see them almost every day, too. Park in front of the pumps or park in the pump, go inside, have supper, have a shower. So rude. 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 
I'll tell you my little trick again to keep your windshield clear in the winter time when it's snowing. You gotta crack both your windows a little bit. Turn left on Trunk Road, Highway 7. Karen, every time I'm trying to tell a story, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. You don't wanna you don't wanna know. You don't wanna know what I'm gonna do. You gonna say it one more time yet? Okay, I'll tell my story after you're done talking. Come on, get it out, spit it out. I know you wanna say something. Want to ding at me? Okay. We can't park on these train tracks. So, uh, to keep your windshield clean and free of uh, ice and stuff, what I do is I crack both my windows. You might have to wear a sweater and a toque for this because it's going to get cold in your truck. You have to cool down your truck, turn your vents to the floor. Heat, heat your truck through the floor. Keep your window open a crack so that all the heat that rises escapes out the windows, but you still stay warm. But you want the windshield to stay cold. That way the snowflakes bounce off the windshield and they don't melt and stick to it. Then you don't have that problem of snow on your windshield and your wipers getting all full of ice and stuff. The snow just bounces off, but you have to keep your windshield cold on the inside and outside. So sometimes that means you gotta get your whole truck interior pretty cold to cool it down. So you might need to wear your jacket or something, but that's better than having your uh, your wipers getting full of ice, right? It takes a little while for it to cool down too. It doesn't always work. This road for five kilometers. It doesn't always work because if they put salt on the roads and the roads are wet and people are spraying up mist at you, well, then you're gonna have to use your wipers anyway. But there's a trick: try to keep your windshield cold so that the snow doesn't stick to it. Looks like we might not have to deal with too much snow after all. Knock on wood. We'll see. I don't know. So that cotton candy was delicious. Just so you know, I haven't had cotton candy since I was, since I can't remember. Long time ago. It's just as good as I remember it. Oh, I love how it just melts in your mouth. Oh, that was a treat. Well, lucky me. We got stuck behind a convoy, stuck behind a snow plow. Lovely. The snow actually stopped for a few hours. I thought that it had passed by, but as we're going south down, what is this, the 400? No, down the 60, 69, Highway 69. As we're going south towards Toronto, uh, we are experiencing more snow. I hope it doesn't get worse the further down we go. Hopefully we're just going through a little blip right now. But hopefully the snowplow gets out of our way soon. They're supposed to pull over and let traffic by every few miles, but this guy hasn't been doing that. So he has a few miles of vehicles backed up behind him. I appreciate what he's doing. Working long hours, keeping our roads clear so we can travel safely. But at the same time, you know, Maybe to let traffic by every now and then, maybe. Maybe a little every now and then. What do you say? Well, we've gotten a little further along here. We're in uh, northern, southern Ontario. Well, let's just call it southern Ontario on the north shore. I don't know. I've never actually been through this town before. I have no idea what town this is. We didn't have to go through Toronto. Karen found me a route that, that uh, allowed me to avoid Toronto. So thank God. Now look at this, we gotta go through small town Ontario. Look at this. Just wash that window off for you a bit there. I would love to live in a little town like this. This is actually a pretty big town to me. This is like a little, this is a city already, come on. You know, I shouldn't say I'd love to live in a little town like this. I love where I live, but if I had to live in a in here somewhere, I'd, I'd, want, I'd pick a small town like this. Oh, a big church right there, what's that? Jubilee Presbyterian. Every town's got several. Look at these old homes, wow. I like small town Ontario, I really, I just don't like Toronto at all, or Mississauga, or Hamilton. No big cities, I don't like them. Even London's a little too big. Kitchener's a little big too. I don't know, I like small towns. Nothing against you if you live in the big city. We got quite a bit of snow here. 
I'm hoping that uh, the place where I think I'm gonna park is gonna be open. There's a Petro Pass truck stop in Fergus, Ontario. And that's where I would, uh, that's where I wanna park. So we're here in the Fergus. Guard Shore Street, Highway 43. Turn right here. Okay. I'm using Google to guide me towards uh, this Petro Pass. It's not really a truck stop, it's a card lock. So uh, I'm hoping that there's going to be room to park there. It looked like there's gonna be a room. I checked it out on Google Earth and Google Maps and it looks like there's room to park there. I just hope I'm not gonna get there and I'm gonna see some big, big sign that's like brand new. It's like, no truck parking overnight. Come on, technically it's like after midnight. So technically it's not parking overnight. It's parking in the morning, right? Well, here we go. Oh, it looks like there's room here. Your destination is on the right. Are there any signs anywhere that say no overnight parking? I don't see any. Do you see any? What's this sign on this post say? Nothing. Alright. I'm parking right here. I don't know if they'll tell me to move. I don't think so. The yard's already been cleared. If they tell me to move, I'll just tell them I'm delivering around the corner in the morning. I don't know. But I'm going to bed. So uh, I want to end this vlog off on a positive note. Because it's winter time and people are feeling down and meh. I want to leave, on a, leave this on a positive note. There's no mosquitoes. We'll see you tomorrow.